I know, it's October 6th, hard to believe, right? Well, we're going to see a continuation of summer-like weather during the, uh, the beginnings of fall. Uh, take a look at the four things that you need to know. Uh, we're going to really continue to see unseasonably warm temperatures all the way through the weekend. It's going to be sunny and dry. Gorgeous weekend on tap. Going to be beautiful. Time to get things ready to see some fall weather because we're going to get cooler next week. Trust me, you're going to feel it. So our day today under a sunny sky is going to ramp up nicely. We're going to be into the mid-70s uh, for early afternoon. 79 our high today for a couple of hours, you know, 4 or 5 o'clock. By 6 we're at 77 and then the sun sets and we cool off quickly. So just something to pay attention to. Air quality in moderate this morning. We're going to see it bounce around between moderate and good. Certainly this evening we could see moderate uh, air quality as well. We're not getting new smoke in the area, but the smoke we have isn't going anywhere. Um, the highs today are going to be in the upper 70s. That's going to be all the way to Colville, all the way down into the Palouse. We're going to be, as we get into areas of Ritzville and beyond, low to mid 80s. So looking pretty warm there into North Idaho, you're going to be into the mid 70s and it's going to be beautiful 72 hour forecast has that high pressure hanging out and staying with us again all the way into the weekend anything we have coming off the pacific in form of a low could push a little bit of cloud cover our way but it really is going to be moving up into bc and beyond and then wrapping back down into areas of the great lakes the jet stream way to the north that's Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. Now we start to see that high pressure erode, and we're going to have temperatures falling off 71 on Monday. Cold front could be an isolated shower Monday night, about a 20% chance uh, into Tuesday morning. Tuesday's high 61, Wednesday 62 with overnight lows in around 40 degrees. So definitely cooler temperatures for uh, the walks to school, waiting on the school bus, getting to work. Yeah, something to pay attention to. Okay, I'm Mark Peterson. I thank you for watching this. I hope you have a, a, a great day. And we'll continue to keep this up to date just for you.